day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. I want to put it, we're talking about man and self. Uh, we're talking uh, Juwanda, when they, when they, they had oh, people yeah. to death. The hood, the hood, the hood, the, 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 took one tribe and put them above another tribe. Mm. So once that that those colonizers were removed, then the tribe that was oppressed uh -huh. took it out onto the tribe that was put over them. Yeah. Yeah. Because they willingly oppressed. You know, they they just fell in line with what the colonizers wanted. Right. So that's why they were so brutal for them hacking them up and everything. Wow. But uh, but, but it all it, it, it's it, it's it's all evil. It's all yeah. it's all godliness. Yes sir. Un, ungodliness. Godliness, let me, yeah. let me yeah. correct myself. It's right. all ungodliness. Yeah. And it's all an opportunity to bring God into I mean the fields are right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you yeah, talking about that. Right, I think we had to have a potent, a potent, you know, a message, a potent, uh, a cure, or uh, a serum. Because if we start, like somebody addressed this a few days ago, it says 60 years ago we were going through the same thing we're going through today. So civil rights didn't actually the passing of the bills for civil rights didn't fix the human heart, and and and, uh, and they were biggest land was in wait for someone like Trump Trump to give the dog whistle for them to act out on what was already in them. Um, ultimately, I think we really got to go for the human soul. It is, though. And, and, we, and we have to acknowledge the fact that a lot of white people died uh, helping us acquire civil rights. And I mean, we look at one of the more now ones, I think John Brown and his sons in trying to bring about the, the you know, emancipation of black folk ended up all them dead. Right. Yeah, well, see, you don't hear about about the uh, sympathizers. Yeah, you, that, you that, don't I, hear about that, it. They, they're they're erased from history because the last thing someone wants to know or wants to hear, those in power, wants to put out there that there were people who agreed Amen. that you know with the people that they were oppressing, right. so or, or didn't like it, and so. And you I, know, I think I think it, we we were effective when when God was was in the midst of of of, of the civil rights movement. You know, God was was there. It was in the midst of it. it. It was. It may have not been completely uh done under God's will, but God still was in the midst of it. Right. So it was somewhat successful. Yeah. But right after they got, they they started disbanding those people or, and killing off and, and making it tough for those people who were in the body of Christ. Uh -huh. Then it kind of fell off. Those who, those those that were left, you know, these so-called uh, leaders that we have now right. that, that are supposed to be civil rights leaders, you know, they they gave up their ministry. Yeah, they gave it. You know, seriously, they, they gave Man, what, their ministry. What, what ministry? What ministry? Stop. Well, you know Stop. what what I'm saying is, I, and I understand what you're saying, uh, yeah. uh, Jimmy. But yeah, when they were coming up, when they were under authority, under under somebody who was was actually ministering, no different than these people that are in church now. As yeah. long as they got a, a, a head there, then they can kind of fall into what was uh, what's being put in front of them. Right. You know, got you know what? Hair, what? Like what Martin Luther King said, the hero mentality. You gather them up and you can focal, focalize them and then you go and do what you're going to do. But outside of that, 
the gospel really wasn't being preached during that time. Yeah. You know, we got to have a united front, man. Even with all the rioting and everything that's going on today, they still killing niggas. I mean, black folks gunning them down in the streets every day still. It ain't yeah. slowed down. It ain't stopped. They, no, have, and, not and been, they have not been phased. Let me tell you something. Um, we, we just can't riot and picket without a purpose. I mean, when Rosa Parks decided that she wasn't going to get up, and they did what they wanted to do. Well, we heard them in their pockets. We stopped riding buses, period. We boycotted them. That's it. Because That's it was, it was affecting them. Something. That's right. It affected them financially. financially. So then they had to make a decision. What we're yeah. doing now, we, we ain't affecting nobody financially. We, we, we're going out here burning down stuff, whatever, whatever. All the taxpayers going to pay to get all that stuff we built. They, this not hurting them financially. Not at you all. You go out here and burn stuff down and do all this and do all this. You're not going to change the heart of man just because you get up and walk up and down. And we need to stop blaming all this on Trump. This has been going on for 400 years. Oh, yeah. It ain't nothing, oh, yeah. it ain't nothing stopped. It was eight years ago. It was 12 years ago. It was 20 years ago. It was 40 years ago. It was 60 years ago. It was 80 years ago. Ain't no difference in that. We still look at yeah. from a different perspective. Systemic racism has still programmed the heart of man in the wrong direction. We still get out here and attribute to those kind of things by our lifestyle and the way we live our lives. We yes. ain't doing nothing for ourselves. We ain't coming together. We don't have a united front. We don't have a great leader out there in this particular movement with a purpose, a with, a, with an expected end. And so you just can't, I mean, you just can't, you just can't do things and then just do a lot of things and think it's gonna come out and you're gonna get your expected end. There has to be a, tra a, a progression. There has to be a purpose. There has to be stages. There has to be a united front. And we're, 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 we're years away from that. But you know, you know the thing is, is that the picture was already there though, because if we look back at 2 Chronicles 7, 14, that's applicable, even in this situation. The only thing it is, it's not exclusive. It, 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 and if it is exclusive, it's exclusive concerning the household of God, which is multicolored, multifaceted, multiracial. And I think that the household of God, if we don't focus there, we're gonna really miss the point because we don't have, even among ourselves, among black people, so to speak, we don't have the sustaining power to keep living a righteous life aside from Christ. And that's been that's been evidence through, through our leaders themselves. At some point, we can get the agenda accomplished, but the, the, the morality or the, just the basic nature of, 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 of fallen man is going to come through to do some disruptive stuff. And we saw that happen after King was killed with the people that followed after him. Uh, it's, it's impossible to sustain a righteous movement aside from Christ. And, and, and the only, you know, really viable government that there is in place is the kingdom of God. Exactly. I don't think that's the stuff that's going to fall apart. And you're right. The, 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 the single point has already been established, and that is everyone needs to follow Jesus Christ. That, right. is, that is our focal point. And once we do that, then we'll be united. And, and we really are united. We just need somebody out there bringing truth to power. And when I say truth to power, I'm not talking about this world system power. I'm talking about this so-called church yeah. power. You know, once we course. break down those walls, right. once we speak truth to that, no different than Jesus did, right. then right. You, sue, you, you, you serve that authority that man has dominated uh, once again no different than when Christ came come on he had to check the authority that was there yes sir and let them know that you there is a new sheriff in town <laughs> and that's and that is Jesus Christ and don't you forget and the proof <laughs> of it was the signs that followed so now that is our mantle Right Let me there. tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, gentlemen, but I read the book. It ain't getting ready to get no better. No, it's gonna no, get a no, lot no. worse. It's but, getting but ready to get church, a lot worse. But the church will. It, it, it said that he will present it to himself, having this spot and a blemish, a wrinkle, or any such thing, by the washing of the water by the word. It that's also the, talks that's... about the judgment will begin in the household of God. At the end of the day, we're the only we're the only bus gonna be standing. All the rest of this stuff is going to be done away with. It's just the household of God that's going to remain. Yeah, so, it's like like Jimmy said. The, the problem is, 
we 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 are not supposed to be in this peaceful realm to where we are going to 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 change society to accept right. who and what we are. That that's never going to happen, especially the body of Christ. Legit. It's going to be hard to even. It's going to test your very soul to even proclaim that you are a Christian. Come on now. Coming soon. Come on. Coming soon. The word says it. So you might as well believe it. But the thing is, we have to establish ourselves. Right. And to go out there and to allow these people, not allow, but show these people no. who they are not in Christ me. Jesus. On, so that the same effect that they had when they were uh, back there killing off the early Christians. It should be the same. Hey. They should be willing to die for Christ. Come on now. Come on. Look at Paul. Look at Paul. And, yeah. it's, and it's possible. We're, these guys can get converted. Uh, 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 on the, in the state that they're in right now, their, their behavior is expected. I mean, I, after the history of mankind period, talking about the fall of the garden, from that point forward, everything corrupt. It got worse and worse and worse and worse in the world systems. Right. But once we come into the kingdom of God, now we begin to up climb. It's not it's a regenerative feedback instead of a degenerative one. And so once we get these guys converted, that's why I think if who said it earlier that said the harvest is plentiful, man. This is the best time to go fishing we ever had in our history. It's just in America. Amen. Hey, Jackson something Actually, it was um you guys really brought it up. I was looking in the word where um Christ you know, spoke about, you know, for my name's sake, we're going to be persecuted. And because um, at first, you know, it looked like we were kind of getting off on a tangent. And then and it just kind of came to me, you know, revelation wise, we're trying to solve the wrong problem. Uh, you know, th those other things are worldly. And yeah. what we need to be looking at is what's spiritual. And yeah. uh, and that is, is what you guys just brought up. And that is, is that we, we need to just go out there and, and speak the gospel. And, uh, and and that's the true message. All that other stuff, trying to fix things and make things comfortable for for mankind, it's not about that because Satan ain't gonna let it be that way. No, no, no. And it's, and it's, 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 it's been prophesied. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's in the Bible. We have, we have the future set before us. Yes, sir. And the future says, that we are going to be going through trials and tribulations and they're going to get worse the further we go down the road. <laughs> so knowing that, you would think it would be imperative to establish yourself. Amen. Gird up your mind Come to strengthen yourself in God to withstand this world and this world system. And not only that, to bring these folks along with you. Amen. Uh, if 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 <clears throat> if people don't know who they are, come on now, they're going to fall by the wayside with, with the smallest test. I mean, it's happening now. Yes, sir. It's, it's, it's happening now. So people aren't. We're not really being taught who we are, the authority well, that we have, and the ability to move in this world system. No different than Christ did outside of it. Amen. I mean, you, you're, you're. This world system is going to happen, right? But no different than Christ went through, you know, in and out, you know, of, of every, every uh, uh, classification of, of being, right. you know, whether it being rich and poor. But I mean, he, though he he established himself with the poor and the downtrodden. Cause that's who he came to, to to bring up he still was maneuvering through all different social types of people sharing the gospel and exposing hypocrisy delivering those who are oppressed of the devil that yeah. is our mantle and yeah. that well, you know, should be where we go and how we yeah. head first. you know i was going to say that even you know you say even but even us i mean I, and i'll say people that are christians and people that really uh, love the Lord, um, we still don't have no idea who we are and the authority that we have on the earth. 
but I'll go and, and that's the point I'll make and then we're, we're, we're lagging behind in who we are not knowing yes. who we are and what we and what, what, what power we have in our authority but then too you know y'all keep quoting that scripture you come to mind because I think it says at the beginning of that that uh, that uh, we need to pray to the Lord of harvest that he sent forth laborers yes. into the vineyard because the harvest truly is plentiful. He said, look out to the field because they're white already to harvest. Yeah. And, and that's something. He said, they white already to harvest. Mm -hmm. So the harvest is plentiful. But the laborers, laborers. are few. Yes. Right. And pray for, pray for.